The hard fork versus soft fork debate is shrouded in mystery and misinformation. In this video, we'll examine some of the key points of these arguments and look at why Decredit is working towards becoming the first blockchain to be hard fork only. All software needs to be updated to fix issues, increase performance and improve security and blockchain protocols are no different. In blockchain, those updates are called forks and there are two kinds of updates, soft fork and hard fork. Since cryptocurrencies are decentralized networks, all participants in the network need to follow the same rules. These participants are known as nodes and the data they process is eventually recorded on the blockchain ledger. Any node not following the rules of the network will find their data gets rejected, never to be added to the blockchain. Soft forks are a restrictive upgrade. If the rules get tightened, all the older and outdated software will continue to be able to have their data added to the blockchain as long as they stick within the new confines of the new rules. However, if an older node tries to push data to the limits of the previous rules, that data will be rejected by the updated node running the new software. Effectively, this gives the network a multi-tiered system where the dominant software version will effectively force all other nodes to either upgrade their version or act more restrictive when applying the rule set. What soft forks actually provide that hard forks don't is forward compatibility. That's to say, older versions of the software can accept inputs created by newer versions of the software. In the context of cryptocurrencies, and Decred in particular, this would mean older versions of the software would still be able to follow the chain with the most proof of work, despite not understanding the newer validation rules. On the surface, it might sound like a desirable property to continue allowing older software to follow the best chain without upgrading as it retains forward compatibility. However, upon closer examination, it really isn't desirable. This is because it undermines the very rules that make cryptocurrencies trustless and safe to begin with. When a user is running an old version of a node, under a soft fork, they are delegating trust to a third party, namely others that are running newer software versions, instead of actually verifying the data for themselves. Perhaps even more insidious is that older nodes are unaware they are not actually validating all of the rules. This is because soft forks are specifically designed to trick older software intentionally. Hard forks are expansive upgrades that recognize the previous history of a blockchain but going forward will reject incoming data that was not following the new rules. For instance, the data size has increased, so all older nodes will no longer be able to validate this data as it passes the limits set out in that older software version. This process forces all node operators to upgrade their software to the new version or end up following an obsolete chain. In a hard fork only system, this will guarantee that only one version of the software is running and able to validate data. This eliminates all edge cases from older versions or alternative implementations and has a desirable impact on security and consistency. In a blockchain that doesn't have formal governance, hard forks can fracture the community and bring into existence a new blockchain that is the same as the old one up to the point the new rules are implemented. It's for this reason there is a dominant argument in favour of soft forks from protocols that don't have formal governance. As for Decred, the advantages of being a hard fork only system greatly outweigh the disadvantages. Forcing everyone to run the same software massively reduces complexity, risk and improves elements of the protocol's security. Furthermore, as the process for Decred's consensus upgrading is already formalised, Going to the next step is mostly a formality. A big misconception in this debate is backwards compatibility, which is a nonsense argument because both hard forks and soft forks have to be backwards compatible to continue accepting any blocks that were valid up to the point the new rules were implemented or enforced. Decrypt, for instance, has already had several hard forks without issue and can still sync the entire blockchain from scratch successfully, validating every block and spend coins created in the very first block. How would this be possible if hard forks were not backwards compatible? A simple example of the difference between soft fork versus hard fork could be, 
Assume you have a rule in version one of the software that says no blocks larger than one megabyte is allowed. Then you wanted to raise that to two megabytes in version two of the software to make this less restrictive and more flexible. You can't do this with the soft fork because version one of the software will reject the new blocks because two megabytes is larger than one megabyte. On the other hand, say you wanted to lower the block size to 500 kilobits, making it more restrictive. In this case, a soft fork could be used because version one of the software will happily accept the new blocks because 500 kilobits is not larger than one megabyte and therefore the rule in version one of the software is not violated. Notice how in the first case, the older version of the software, version one, will no longer accept the inputs or data created by the newer version, version two of the software. That's a hard fork. However, in the second case, the older version of the software, version one, will still accept the inputs of the data created by the newer version of software. That's a soft fork. This is precisely why soft forks are changes done in a forward compatible way and have nothing to do with backwards compatibility. In both cases, the new software has to continue accepting blocks that were valid up to the point the new rules are enforced. Otherwise, you can no longer sync or spend the coins from the older versions. That is the very definition of backwards compatibility. As a rule of thumb, soft forks don't need to be enforced by everyone running the same software because they reduce or restrict the current rule set. Whereas hard forks need to be enforced by the majority because they expand the rule set past its current expectations and validity. But in both cases, the old rule set must be seen as valid. There are some short term benefits at the cost of long term issues that soft forking provides. Whilst hard forking typically provides better long term benefits, typically at the cost of some minor short term implementation inconveniences. For example, soft forking is the only reasonable method for coins without formal governance or the ability to unambiguously choose a winning fork while simultaneously killing off the one that didn't win. Moving forward, having the ability to hard fork in a formalized way has streamlined the development process for Decred and has given the project the ability to react positively to contentious issues. A prime example of this is with the reward subsidy split consensus change which went from start to finish in under six months and gave everyone in the system a chance to air their views and discuss. Vote to build the upgrade. Get the nodes and the miners to upgrade their software with a new version in a dormant mode. Vote again to apply the consensus change. And then finally, push to get the remaining software upgraded before the implementation went live. In a protocol that doesn't have formal governance, the process of hard fork upgrading is complex time consuming and detrimental to the community. A prime example of this was the Bitcoin Cash hard fork, which took approximately two and a half years to implement and ultimately failed to become the dominant chain. Decred makes this process look easy and is one of the benefits of the project understanding the importance of formal governance from day one and also understanding that coin holders need a bigger say in how a monetary system progresses. To date, Decred has had no less than six hard fork consensus changes without any disruption to the network. It's for this reason you won't find a Decred Cash, a Decred Classic, a Decred Gold, a Decash, Decred TV, which is Taco's vision of course, or any other contentious hard fork version of the original project.